Hello, beautiful people. It's Lulu. And today I'm going to do your pep talk. I did a mudra, but the file was corrupted, so I'm getting that fixed. So we are going to go with the surrender cards. Okay? <laughs> I got my pajamas. Whatever. All right. So let's see what it is that they have for you here tonight. And I found the uh, mudra to be very interesting, to say the least. Okay? Now then, what information do you have for these beautiful people, honey? Thank you. Surrender the drama. Surrender to inner peace. Surrender to your full power, which is your full potential at this time. All right, so let's look into it really, really quick. So you have surrender to surrender the drama, surrender to inner peace, and surrender to your full power. When you um, hand yourself over to any type of drama, any type of um, anything that would make your energy raggedy, anything that would um, have you uh, be confrontational, right? Or having to confront certain things or certain people or situations, it's not going to be a good look, right? So you want to surrender the drama, right? Make sure that you don't get in your feelings about anything. Just go ahead and proceed with caution, right? And that's where that inner peace comes in because when you operate from a space of peace, when you operate from a space of um, calm clarity, it makes it easier for you to figure out what it is that um, is triggering you to make to have you want to um, respond in a certain type of way or indulge in certain things, right? Because some of you may even be dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothing or this is, is also reminding me of um, in the Lenormand the fox card, right? The fox is cunning. It's always creeping around and trying to figure out what its next prey is. What it's what what can it trigger? What can it do to get you off of your square? What can it do to steal from you, right? It just looks for something to prey on. So surrendering to your full power has a lot to do with surrendering to inner peace, right? Because once you find peace within, you realize the power that is within that will be reflected without. So let's start clarifying. What do you have for these beautiful people, honey? What do you have for these beautiful people? The emperor. There may be uh, someone, uh, there may be a power struggle between you and someone else. Or there may just be that it's important that you stand on your ten like an emperor, right? You take charge of a situation and not allow yourself to be off center, off balance. Just find the next um, available um option or way to um, disregard any type of erratic emotions, erratic behaviors. It's all about how would the emperor respond? How is someone who rules nations, empires, right? Has an empire that rules over many nations, many things all at once. If you um, get caught up in any type of drama, will that make you an emperor? You've been through a lot to become an emperor, right? So it's time for you to take charge of a certain situation, taking charge of your emotions and being very um, stoic. Or just, you know, your poker face, right? Even his cheetah is smiling, ho. Okay? I'm recording on my phone, y'all. But even his cheetah is uh, smiling. Six of wands and a hangman. Six of wands and the hangman. So this is really, with this hangman, I really do feel as though you pull back from this situation, which is good. You pull back from this situation and see it from a different perspective. Why is, why do I feel this way? Why is this situation where it is, right? It's as best as you can, right? Because he does have his uh, sword of light, the sword of truth, the sword of oneness, right? So you go into this space where you realize what is important. Many of you may even go into a space where um, you receive a lot of information when you wear your hair a certain type of way. Whatever that means, right? Because our hair is antennas, all of our hair, right? Uh, with the Six of Wands, this is you standing in um, what it is that you are designed to stand in and how you are, right? This is victory with you surrendering to your full power and realizing the power that you possess in this space, right? But also with that surrender uh, inner peace and the Six of Wands, this is triumphant victory. Sometimes you don't have to say anything or do anything to be victorious. Sometimes you don't have to respond or react to be victorious in certain ways because you've been through a lot, the Nine of Wands. You've been through a lot, right? And you may have even been in the of them went into that um, space of going uh, going and being with the one, right? Going up into the attic, right? Because in the attic, that's where y'all hang upside down, okay? And you receive all the information that makes sense, right? You can't explain how it makes sense, but you're not an emperor for nothing. So you realize how it makes sense, right? 
Yeah. So you are designed to move forward. Now, if we had the, these are, these are two majors, right? The chariot and the magician. So there's a need for you to gather yourself, gather your belongings, gather something so that you can move forward. Justice will be prevailed, right? The next moon cycle, or maybe there's something that is hidden that will be revealed. And it may be um, dealing with a king of pentacles who had you under some type of illusion. Maybe play with your feelings, play with, um, mm, okay, the arts. But may have played with some things here. In order to appear or have something appear to be something that is not. The only cup that has something in it, is the, in it is the one that this person is staring at. So it was an illusion. It was not what you thought it was. And that's why there may have been conflict in the situation. There may have even been a queen of wands here who comes in with some type of message or someone who is a comrade here who allows for you to move forward. This may be someone that you really trust, someone that is um, that you hold at a high regard, right? So let's see what else is coming out. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. That's you taking things into a different, looking at things from a different perspective when it comes to how you feel about certain things, right? What is the deal? Um, you may have been in a situation where you just picked up some bad vibes and just realized, mm, usually when that happens, that's what this means, right? Someone is trying to, you know, even this may even have to do with someone trying to cause issues, um, start drama with you about your body or the way that you carry yourself or something like that. Some, you know, whatever. But, I just really feel like you may even be drained by this situation. So you know the pullback. You know that it's not worth your time, effort, or attention. Surrender outdated beliefs of yourself. Again, this may be someone that you've been knowing. Someone who um, is part of your old uh, way of being, right? So now that you have realized what it is that you need to do to move forward, right? Especially with that chariot. So many of you may have had to go into integrating new energies, new ways of being, new ways of thinking and approaching situations, new ways of standing on your ten or standing in your power. Temperance, right? You only feed or get a pouring in your cup into things that are productive, ace of wands and the temperance card. So you're only pouring into things that are productive and you're following your creative nudges. You're following your niches. You may receive a message from someone who has some information to tell you, uh, to explain to you or express to you. This is to take you off balance, off center, off kilter, right? Yeah. Because I really feel like you've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of taking care of yourself, taking care of what needs to be taken care of here. And this person feels as though you're, you've left them out in the cold. You've left them in a situation that they can't, they can no longer bear. So they may come in wanting to offer you something, wanting to do something for you, wanting to offer you a gift or what have you. They want you to make a choice and they want to be the choice. But it feels as though you may have been through a lot with this person. This may have been a very manipulative person. Or this is just someone who um, you can't be clear with. You don't know exactly where they are coming from or how they are coming. Maybe someone that you work with as well. Someone is going to the boss to tell them, uh, explain or express their grievances. Or maybe they are putting this at the um, hands of the court about some things that they um, were tricked into or tricked out of by someone here. And justice will prevail in this situation. And I also feel as though this may be spiritual court, spiritual justice or what have you. Because you have also have the three of ones following the moon. Okay. Surrender your need to always be right. That's again, letting go, letting it go, letting folks be where they are, allowing uh, people to uh, take their credit and feel rewarded in whatever this is because you may be right in a situation, but overall, this is just a space where you just let people be right and they can be right. And is it really going to affect you? Is it really going to stop you? Is it really going to hold you back? What is it really going to do? Because someone just wants to be right. This says this will help resolve conflicts when you surrender your need to always be right. And maybe this surrender and outdated beliefs of yourself has a lot to do with um, the way that you believe things or the way that you may have had a narrow um, perception of certain things. There may have been an argument that started about it and you walked away from it. You realize that maybe you were wrong. Who knows? Okay. Only you know. Now, what clarify this surrender to the wisdom of your body? Page of Swords. If you feel as though um, there is something that you need to know, something that um, just doesn't make sense, it's like cutting through the book crap with this uh, page of swords. Now you see what it is that is going on, three of cups and the moon. Something is going to be revealed to you about someone reconciling huh, with their, okay, this may be you reconciling with your shadow side in order to bring light to a situation, but overall, something's being revealed about maybe a third party situation or the way that someone had um, been really... Um, Feeling as though they had all of the answers. 
but causing conflict with whatever this information is. Somebody here may have, you may realize that someone has been doing something or, or trying to put you in a space where you can be argumentative, trying to put you in a space of disarray, trying to put you in a space where you um, overthink things that don't even need to be thought about with that five of swords, the high priestess, and the moon. This is a very intuitive card. This is you really tapping in. Maybe you are really close to um, certain moon cycles here. But overall, what I'm getting with this Three of Cups and this Five of Cups, there's something that is going to be brought to your attention that it's time that you know that it's time for you to let it go. It's time for you to surrender the whatever this belief is that has to do with how things are supposed to go, how people are supposed to celebrate, how people are supposed to come together, how people are supposed to be in relationships. Now, let's clarify this surrender outdated beliefs. You may even have some type of inclination about someone who may have been spying on you, someone who may have been spreading gossip or lies with that page of swords, someone who may have been cheating to try and win. Because a page of swords can be someone who has some type of intellect, but they have, they're not a king, they're not a knight. Um, they're not an empress or an emperor. This is just someone that's using some type of tool. Maybe it's ma mental manipulation, in, um, uh, manipulation with air, words, or what have you. What is this surrender outdated beliefs of yourself? Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. It's time to let some shit go and balance everything that has to do with your creative projects, whatever it has to do with your work and the way that you display. Um, maybe you like to give people gifts or maybe you like to um, show emotion, but you have been in a space where you it's just been a burden when it comes to the, the weight of what it is that you expect from people or how you expect for things to go. And now you are seeking this clarity here. Maybe this is you just being tired of arguing, fighting, or what have you. Maybe Maybe you're tired of going through things. Maybe you begin to feel things in your body, right? When this drama comes about, you begin to feel things in your body that you know is not affecting your health in a good way. So you want to balance that out. Some of you are really going into a space where you're doing certain exercises or certain meditations that will allow for you to um, release a lot of this tension, what is this surrender your need to always be right? The Nine of Cups. I feel as though in order for you to make this um, happen, you have to just walk away from who you used to be. That's the Nine of Cups. The Eight comes before that, but I feel as though there's some type of clarity that is coming through for you. The clarity is in this cup, right? You got all these other cups. You already been through a lot of things. Now it's a new way, a new perspective, a new um, way for you to deal with things. I feel like this is part of your growth. This is part of what it is that you came here to learn in order for you to be successful possibly in this relationship or whatever this is. It may be work, co-workers or something like that. Yeah, the death of the old you, three of ones. You're waiting for some type of news or some type of information to come through when it comes to your transformation. But overall, this may be you transi uh, transitioning jobs or waiting for something to just be over and release a done deal. Yeah, and it may be with an empress or you may be the empress, but overall I feel as though there's some type of conflict with someone here about a child. There may even be some type of conflict when it comes to some inheritance or some type of money. There may even be some type of conflict when it comes to someone lying about what it is that this came before that. So there may even be that um, you are cutting, creating boundaries and, and, and having clear communication when it comes to lies, betrayal, deceit. You are doing what is necessary because I feel like someone may have been lying or may have been playing both sides of a situation when it comes to a love situation. That's a two of cups or a, a relationship going to the next level. Are we going to grow and go or are we going to remain in the same energy that we've been in? Then you got the nine of pentacles. No longer wanting to be single or what is single to you or claiming your independence and singlehood as well. Right, And that may even be you surrendering to that part of your process when it comes to outdated beliefs of yourself and how you view relationships. Surrender to trust, surrender to what is, and surrender to success. All right, So if you want, to, want this success in this partnership, business, whatever this is, right, relationship, they want you to trust your decisions even more so. But this is, this comes under surrender to the wisdom of your body as well as surrender the drama. So you want to surrender this trust. You want to be in a space where you stand on the decisions that you make. You stand on what it is that you are picking up because you've been through this many times, right? So um, the flow of what it is is not having to fight against, go against the grain or fight for what is right. But knowing that in your own right, you will be, uh, justice will prevail, right? They're saying that you're ready to receive abundance. There's something about 
walking through um, all of this energy, right? The surrender to drama, surrender idea to beliefs about yourself, and surrender to success are crossing each other. So there's something here to do with um, don't look back at previous roadblocks, they said. What do you have for this surrender to trust? Queen of Swords. You know exactly what is going on. You know exactly what it is that you need to do. And this, the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. She's very logical. She knows many things about many things, right? She knows what she don't know is she knows. She just knows that she don't know, but she knows that there's a lot to it, right? So the Queen of Swords is um, someone who um, is very in tune with the air element, which would also be that body wisdom in a sense too, because you may have chills that you trust or um, the gut feelings that you trust or just the intuitive nudges that you trust overall when it comes to the wisdom of your body. What is this surrender to what is? The King of Pentacles. All right. So this may be um, a situation where your uh, masculine side or uh, a male that you are actually dealing with here is in a space where they have to realize, someone has to realize that they're going to have to surrender to what is. Because uh, pinnacles can be very stubborn. They can be very, um, stick, it to, stick it to what is tangible, stick it to what is matter of fact, as far as things that you can touch and produce or what have you in the material world. So it's like someone is realizing that they can't change a situation, so they have to let it be what it, the fuck it is. What is this King of Pinnacles? The Knight of Wands. This may be someone coming in with an apology or they inspired to move forward in a way that they may be coming in to tell you that this is what it is that they are the way that they are seeing things for what just for what it is, right? They may have tried every trick in the book and now they see it for what it is. What is this surrender to success? Five of Swords, stop going back and forth with yourself. Stop telling yourself old stories like what they said up here. Surrender outdated beliefs of yourself. The Five of Swords can easily be mental conflict. It can easily be your, you being combative with yourself. It can easily be that um, you are afraid of what's on the other side. When you jump from that precipice, what's on the other side? What is this new adventure, this new life, this new cycle, right? What is this Five of Swords? Eight of Swords. You may be um, conflict. This is self-conflict. Uh, I was about to say confliction. But this is being self-limiting. You want to step outside of those limitations. You know what it is that you need to do and how you need to do it. But it's on you how you move forward. They're both holding a sword, right? So you have a decision. Do you um, do? This is like uh, your fight or flight with that five of swords. Do you, your fight or flight kicks in, right? And then with this eight of swords, the five um, needs to move through this eight of swords in order for you to make the right decision, decision to go ahead and surrender to what could possibly be on the other side of everything. What will it, you know, it may take a lot of work. It may take a lot of to do, but are you ready? Yes, you are. What is this surrender to success? Two of Swords. You have a decision to make. And I feel as though if you use this Queen of Swords energy, you will be able to make the decision that is necessary, right? Doing what is required, not what is desired. I feel as though there's a lot of people that stand for you. There's a lot of people that support you. I also feel as though you are just in a space where um, you may speak with conviction or something like that. So if you speak with conviction, you also should think in that way as well, I guess. Whatever. I don't know, honey. Let me see here. What do you have for these beautiful people? I'm going to go. The six of wands, victory is assured. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. He has four wands, which is stability in one hand and two wands in the other hand. So you'll continue to progress. You'll continue to move forward. But I also feel as though there's something that happens at night, something that, yep, the lovers making a choice. There's something that happens at night or something that happens when you least expect it. It's like least expect it, right? Where you make a decision. Some of you may even be um, surrounded by your ancestors, your family, and friends at this time. This is people that um, are of a mutual benefit. These are people who have mutual feelings. Here, these are people who um, adore but also hold you accountable, right? What do you have here for these beautiful people? The Page of Pentacles. This is study, work, growth. This is also you doing research possibly. But overall, this is working on what you need to work on, right? Some of you will be um, gifted with looking into your own Akashic Records or getting some type of secrets here that will be revealed to you so that they, that you can have that fear removed from you. You're just going to see things clearly. The Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. 
right? Some of you are going being very, becoming very introspective. You may even be in a space where um, there's a Queen of Cups or a woman from your past or someone here who is coming in to offer you something. They have something that is going to help you balance your emotions. Someone wants to make a peace offering, a peace treaty overall. Um, I feel as though you'll be working hard. You'll be taking care of yourself or making self-care a priority with this Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Here, um, I feel like many of you have a lot of gems that you have to share with the world here. And it's important that you don't go into this Five of Cups. This Three of Cups and this Five of Cups is saying that there's something that you need to walk away from in order for you to take on this Empress energy. You're going to need to walk away from something, allow something to be what it is. Um, there may be people or situations that are finally run their course. They can no longer be in your energy or around you here. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new project and some new inf some information coming in here that you are going to need to uh, really give your attention to. If you become too, like your creative juices will begin to flow so much so that if you become too caught up in your creative juices or your creative process, what happens, what will happen is um, you'll become this disor disorganized. This, um, there'll be some disorder when it comes to what is it that you give your attention to? What project, what thing, what, what, what thing that matters to you the most, right? And you're going to have an aha moment here. And whatever it is, it's bringing fairness and justice to all of us. But I, overall, I feel as though you'll make the right decision. You'll do what is right. Or there's a situation where there may have been some type of mental, a uh, mental or chemical manipulation, right? Where you will begin to figure out or, um, this is like redemption, right? There's a lot of things that are being restored to you, and it's overwhelming as well. This could be overwhelming energy as well. Here, an influx of emotions that just put you in a space of what the fuck, right? You may think that you live in a fantasy world. This is the truth. This is what you are going through. All right? So, let's see. Baby, what? A 30-minute video. Okay. All right, y'all. Bye.